Hey guys, Silence Yell here. Welcome back to the episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix with me. And by the time you see this recording, it's actually the last day um, for Totera <laughs> to actually be around. Uh, I have yet to have him join the cafe, but he is technically one star away from joining the cafe, and I do have him well as the next Pokemon to handle, so. Yeah, he's disappearing on the 23rd, and on the time that I'm recording this, is actually the 23rd, so it's the last day of the event. Well, a few hours from it ending actually. So, <laughs> yeah, hopefully you guys have been, uh, you know, busy trying to get him to join the cafe, or even getting him to level 2, so that his skill lasts longer. Then of course, you know, they are introducing Snorlax. So Snorlax will be coming by the cafe, you can work with other team members and prepare lots of dishes to satisfy this Pokemon. So basically yeah, Snorlax is the next event Pokemon. So that's pretty exciting. And of course, like I mentioned on my YouTube fix YouTube Facebook page, I don't know why I started there. <laughs> um um Plusum and Minum are coming to the event as well on the 23rd. So when Torterra disappears, Plusum and Minum is going to become a regular uh, Pokemon within the game um, that you can, you know, befriend casually because they're going to expand the game even further with more stages and of course more stages means more decorations. And yes, Minum and Plusum are the next in line to join this game. So look forward to the two adorable, um, well, Pikachu clones, <laughs> you know, to, to join the game. Alright, let's see how I fared in ranking. I haven't been playing much ever since my last video. Eh, 50 place. So, yeah. I wasn't expecting that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Alright, and this card is... Well, I'm not gonna get anywhere completed because I haven't even gotten Torterra to join the cafe. Alright, let's rotate this. Let's see if any more Pokemon. Ah, oh, there we go. At least let's try to get these guys to level 2. So, as usual, let's we'll start off with the invitational party. Okay. Blossom, here we go. So there are whipped creams bubbled up at the top. So we definitely need to get that busting uh bursting. So let's get the slow path going first. There we go. We managed to get a few of them down. Okay. Alright, so that's all the whipped cream. Alright. So let's see. Um, we're gonna have to put them here. Alright, so we got a bit more with creams popping up here and there around the stage. Okay. It'd be nice if some of the whipped cream were in the area of skill. Now we destroy. Alright, there we go. So now we just have to get rid of all the weak things. Okay, can we get the So two of the weak things are destroyed. Fantastic. We do need score though, so let's get as many of the icons as possible. Slurpuff seems like it's a okay. Alright, so there is a huge one here, so let's just destroy it with the skill. And we'll make use of the megaphones to try and get some score going. Okay, we do need more score, at the same time we still have that one um with cream that's not destroyed yet, so let's make sure we target it. There we go, we used up all the moves, but we cleared the stage. That's all we needed. So, we've got to be very careful on this level. Alright, let's go with our 
Snubble. I almost forgot the Pokemon's name. <laughs> it shows how long I've done the video. Oh god, there's some honey being coated by olive oils. Okay, that's not a good thing. Uh, let's get Eevee going. Maybe let's get it surrounded. There we go. Okay, there's a lot of munchlax there, so let's, let's get it. Fantastic. Okay, we definitely might want to power up Snubble's skill. So, so we can get more surface area. Okay, let's clear some icons at the same time. There we go. Fantastic. Lots of Eevee going around, so let's gather all the Eevee and go around the box to get as much vegetable coverage as possible. That's it! Pretty easy stage, surprisingly. Alright, and the party is over. Munchlap is a lot closer to leveling 2. Second level. Alright, with this, it is time to get Torterra to join us. Ooh, I don't have any recommended Pokemon. That's not good. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna go with, um, I guess, the same kind of food specialization. Even though it's not the recommended one. Okay, so Minchino's skill is going to be greatly useful for clearing the chocolates at the bottom. So let's, let's power up Minchino first. Alright. Alright, gotta set free those tomatoes. Okay, this is the range that we can go to. There we go. One tomato in this. Okay. Um, the problem here is that the you know, original skill doesn't reach the far end, so that chocolate is going to be a problem. Oh, seems like we can cover it. All right, the tomatoes are going in. Now the only thing is to get rid of the chocolate. And this is it. Oh. So Nintino is useful for this level. If you don't have Lucario. Fantastic. And here we go. Totera joins the crew. So Totera is actually one of the more useful skills that is currently available in this game. So definitely try to get him. There we go. A wonderful smile on his face. <laughs> Glad to have you on board. Alright, and we have our first stamp. Oh, we have two. Okay. I guess we just have to use one more cafe skill to clear this card. Alright, Blossom. Seventy thousand. Okay, the chestnuts with the olives are a bit worrying. So maybe we should just clear the olives at the bottom first and use Velocity skill to destroy the chestnuts before clearing the olives at the top. Okay, let's go down. Clear the chestnuts. How many can we oh. oh, we did clear one more, so that's pretty fantastic. Let's go with Scoto since there are quite a few of them. Gotta set free the icons. 
go. Okay, there is a chestnut that is coated like wood for it, so that's kind of a problem. Okay, let's clear the chestnut first. Oh, didn't even cover a few of the colors. This colors destroyed. Oh dang! Oh, that was so close. Okay, we're gonna have to use this since the downward megaphone is coated in olive oil. Just gotta be careful, make making sure that the olive is right above the targeted zone of the megaphone. All right. Oh, Lucario's in line. I wonder how many stars. Okay, let's go clear this card so we can get more challenges to clear. Alright, from here on we have to use Torterra because it requires three activations of the skills. Alright, let's go get our big boy. Where are you, my big boy? There you are. I gotta say, I really like Torterra's design for this game. <laughs> I mean, that red really stands out. I mean, he has red eyes. I guess, I guess the cap actually, you know, highlights his eyes from all the green he has on his body. All right, eighty thousand. Oh, gotta beware of that pumpkin. Ooh, oh god, they are both on different levels. Okay, let's get Torterra first. Um, let's clear up as many of the marshmallows as possible. Alright, I think we've got all the marshmallows. That's a pretty good job. <laughs> Alright, let's dig out the pumpkins. Okay, if we can get all the pumpkins together, that will be great. But I have a feeling that's not going to happen. Right. Okay, we can reach a bit further out. So Torterra will change the Pokemon icons um, to the most that they are on the stage. So that's great. Okay. Um, there's a lot of Stoplin. So let's get rid of Stoplin first. Okay. From here, let's get rid of some of the pumpkins. Can oh, we can't reach the acorn. Oh, what a waste. Such a waste. Could have cleared it a lot faster. Oh, that was such a waste. Alright, we're gonna have to retry this level. There we go. Retry. So I had to change the bubble saw because Torterra, my big boy, ain't doing much uh, to help us here. So hopefully the tiny green one I can do what the bigger one couldn't do. Alright, let's get the bubble saw in. Okay, with this we can touch both the upper and lower levels. Pikachu. Okay, we've got the majority of the marshmallows. Now the only problem is that we lost pumpkin in the corner, so that is a problem. Okay, bubble saw. Maybe we should just use bubble saw to naturally destroy the popcorns. I don't know. Maybe we are just one more away from destroying two. Okay. okay. This is 
is very weird. <laughs> Very, very worrying because, well, oh my goodness, we I mean, are just one popcorn away. Okay, I'm gonna go with the 900 acorn rede redemption because I kind of wasted a bunch of hearts with Torterra trying to clear the stage, so I'm just one popcorn away. So, yeah. I mean, it's not a difficult level to clear, it's just that you gotta be, you know, tactful with your moves. I think, you know, evolving Bubblesaw's skill at the beginning, so it has a wider reach um, for the Popkins, would actually be a better choice. So yeah, take note of that when you're trying to clear this level. Alright, one more star for Munchlax to level 2. Alright, Lucario, wow, Lucario needs a lot of stars. Holy crap. Okay, big boy, you're up again. Hopefully you do a better job this time round. Because you wasted three of my hearts. <laughs> 60,000, lots of sugar cubes. Caramels and vegetables. So you've got to be careful with the vegetable boxes. So let's just clear caramels and try to get the, as many vegetables as possible. Alright. Mm, let's go with Torterra. It's, it's just a lot more of them. Alright, let's just use this. Pop. There we go. And now we can use the icons to go in. There we go. We can use Torterra's skill, technically. Get what we want. Alright. Fantastic. So now we just have to cover all the vegetable crates. 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 <laughs> Alright, we have two more to go. And we got the skills. We got talent. There we go. Making sure we use enough of the skills as well for the hero. Because I'm sure the mission or the challenge card requires it to do so. Oh, Squirtle gets the friendship bonus. Yay! Give me those stars! Let's see how many more do I... Okay, so I just need to use one more Totera skill and I can switch out. Hopefully... I don't know, should I risk Totera for the three stars? Okay, let's, let's not. Let's not. Let's play smart. Let's go with the recommended Pokemon because I don't want to end up wasting more Aeons retrying a level that I should be able to clear easily. Okay, there are a lot of bubble swords. Beginning, so let's go with Bulbasaur. Clear as many of the caramels as possible. There we go, so all the caramels are done. Let's just get a bit of the stock room going. Should we level up stock room skill? Seems like we should. This. Oh, there's actually more chestnuts falling from the sky. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we should definitely power up Stoutland's skill. Okay. Oh no, all we need is to target two. That's horrible. Oh man, that was a huge miss. Oh no. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm gonna go with the mini skill variation. 
Oh, come on. Okay, technically there's only four left. Um, there's a lot of Jigglypuff. Let's just get Jigglypuff to get my mega phone out. No. Okay, so they gave us start one skill. That's kind of a bonus. There we go. Kind of a tricky level. Um, if you want to level up Stoutland's skill, it would be best if your chestnuts are all gathered together so you evade or avoid that issue that I had just now where the chestnuts were kind of far apart and I couldn't target as many as I could. So yeah, keep that in mind. Oh, giving me more decorations. Oh, what was that? Hey. Alright, so we'll be seeing Waba Fat soon. Oh, first place. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, <laughs> technically we are tied, so. Alright, um. Hey, Waba Fat's in line already. Okay, let's go with our big boy, uh, Totera. Because, yes, we need to activate one more of his skill. So let's just do that. Oh, 100,000 score. Oh boy. Okay, so Waba Fat, there's a lot of Waba Fat. Oh, the tomato is coated in... Okay, so maybe let's push it down. Destroy the cream as well. Oh well. Okay, there's a lot of water that going around. Tomato needs to go down. Okay. Let's gather this many. There we go. Can we play as much as we can? Okay. Ooh. Okay, let's get more Totera. We've definitely gotten the challenge card completed because we've already used um, the skill required. Alright, pushing that in. Let's get rid of the whipped cream. Um, the whipped cream is tiny enough, so let's just use the icons to destroy it. There we go. Very easy level, I guess it's. Because it's the introduction level for Wabafet. Fantastic. Alright, there we go. We have our mission clip. So now we just have to grind our way. Pikachu, let's go. Ooh. So that top area is entirely sealed off with olive oils. Okay, this is gonna be a bit tricky. Alright, I guess we could clear the caramels first. We don't want them to really cook in olive oil. Um, a lot of Lucario. Okay, looks like Stoutland's next. A bit confusing or rather hard to tell who has the most icons available on the board. Alright, now that we have this. Okay. Okay. Technically. We are done. We just have to destroy that last olive. Which can be easily done with a megaphone. Just got to make sure it's within target range. Don't want to waste a single move. There we go. Pretty simple level. Alright, hello brand new friend. Let's 
let's see what he wants. Oh, toga beep. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so I guess we need Togepi's help to clear out the middle lane? Or maybe we can just use the Pokemon icons to do that? Yeah, so that, you know, yeah, there we go. That's that's what was planned, I guess. Um, so let's push things out. Okay, tomatoes. There we go. Let's push this one there. Push the whole bunch out. So, let's just use Togepi's skill in the middle, because that's where we get more area coverage. Um, yeah, let's make a go with Krilla, because there just seems to be a lot of it. Togepi. Alright, let's push the tomato in. There we go. We do need a link of... 30. So let's destroy as many that isn't slurp puff. There we go. Fantastic. So let's gather as many as we can. Fantastic. And done! Not that difficult a level. Just gotta know what you are doing. Our very first star on Warbuffet. So happy. Big smile on her face. And why not? <laughs> yes, pun totally intended. Alright, so let's move along. Okay, we need Starly for Blossom's sake. Ooh. Okay, so this level does require megaphones to be called upon, so that's why we need Starly. I think Snorlax would do fine as well, because Snorlax does. No, Munchlax. Munchlax does have the same skill. Um, we're very close to activating, or rather getting the skill, so let's not use Starly. Okay, we've gotten all the things out, so let's just power up the skill while getting vegetables. And then, of course, let's power this up. And let's try to get rid of as many whipped creams as possible with all the help from the megaphones. Okay, that didn't do much. <laughs> that was horrible. Alright, here we go. Okay. Uh, let's go to Lucario. There seems to be a few of them. Let's go with Starly, because we're still quite far from getting a skill. Alright, so where is that last... Oh, the last big thing is just right here. Okay, so this we should be done. Oh my goodness, we actually missed out on the vegetables. This is horrible luck. <laughs> we should have been done with that last move, but oh well, I guess. You can't always rely on Lady Luck. I could have targeted the skill, I mean, used the skill to target the vegetable crates. I guess that never came to mind. Oh well. Oh, wow! We've already cleared 10 levels? Oh. Alright, let's get this card. Let's claim the rewards. do this last level. I'm gonna make this a very short video because it's gonna be exciting to see the brand new stages added later today. Well, a few hours from when I record this video. So yeah, um, I guess we'll see Pokemon Cafe videos two times technically in a day? I don't know. Well, basically I will see it two times in a day because I'm recording the videos but for you guys, it will definitely be on different days. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna pop in 
destroy as much of the maleness as possible. Ooh. Oh no, there's pumpkins as well. It's, it's not good. Okay. Gotta make sure we get the marshmallow. Oh no, there are pumpkins at the bottom too. Okay. Alright, let's get slurp half going. We need to destroy the sugar cubes. That's a problem. Okay. Oh no, we don't have enough. Okay, we're gonna retry. I think this stage requires us to power up um, her skill. So let's go with that strategy. Alright, so while I do this level, there's one other thing I need to mention. I'm sure by now that you guys probably would have known that I did put up like a survey on my YouTube Facebook page. Um, so it would be a great help if you guys actually help me fill that up. I would love to see your preferences on the types of videos that I produce, uh, which ones you enjoy, which platforms do you prefer that I do them on, that kind of thing. So yeah. Um, I'll link it in the description of this video, so that will help me greatly if you can do me a favor. Okay, so we've got our... Hopefully that last meal isn't a pumpkin. I'm just praying that it isn't, because it's going to be a problem if it is. Oh my goodness, it is. Okay, I need you in there. Oh no. Will we have enough? Okay. Okay. Um. Ooh, this is bad. This is very bad. Okay. It seems like we need to do this because <laughs> I've run out of hearts actually. So that is a problem. So we're gonna go with the traditional tree step. Clear. There we go. Because I definitely don't want to wait for more hearts to replenish to end this video. So yeah, you guys you guys know the strategy. I mean if you can because my my issue was the um my issue was with uh, let me <laughs> phrase myself properly here. My issue with this level at the beginning was that I didn't destroy the sugar cubes at the bottom to make a pathway in with the skill once it's powered up. Um, so yeah, that, that mayonnaise that had the last pumpkin escaped and you know, it just made things a lot more difficult. So pay attention to that. Make sure you just create the opening that is big enough for your skill icon to go in. At the same time, use the other Pokemon's icon to lock those items within the walls of the sugar cubes so you can have an easier time to destroy them. So yes, that is the strategy for this level. Um, so hopefully that helps you out. And of course, if you happen to be like one or two steps away from clearing the level, just like me, uh, make sure you make full use of your that 500, uh, sorry, 900 acorns retry with 3 moves. 
to finish it up. So yeah, guys. Um, so what do you guys think of Totera's skill? Has it been very helpful with you in you know in your own Grand Prix ranking? Um, surprisingly, I'm still first. <laughs> oh wait, is my friend Orlando playing as well? We're in the same room. Oh my goodness, Orlando, do you watch my Pokemon Cafe mix videos? <laughs> Wow! I didn't expect to see him in game because I don't think I have him as a friend. Yeah, I don't have him as a friend. So, Orlando, if that is you, do let me know. Uh, send me your friend account as well so I can add you up. Huh! I didn't expect to see someone I know in Pokemon Cafe Mix. So, if this is you, let me know. <laughs> that is. That's pretty surprising. Anyone else here that I may know? Huh. Alright, so I'm gonna end the video here with 10 stages. A pretty short video because, well, tomorrow, or rather a few hours away, we're gonna see Minor and Plasso being added to the game. And of course, we have Snorlax, who's the brand new po event Pokemon. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comments down below if you are excited for Snorlax to appear. Um, as well uh, as along with um, Binom and Plusso and of course if you guys are playing Pokemon Cafe Mix hit me up with your friend code so I can add you on my mobile account and my Nintendo Switch account you know so we can keep track of each other somehow and yeah let me know in the comments as well how you guys are doing for the game are you guys still playing are you guys you know still interested in Pokemon Cafe Mix or is it just too darn hard and you just need my videos to help you out <laughs> uh, and yeah leave a like to this video if you enjoy all my stuff and not forget to you know fill up that survey form links in the description um, down below if you can't find my YouTube Facebook page make sure you follow me there as well and you know, keep in you know keep track with all things that I'm doing including Pokemon Cafe Mix uh, my cross information know live streams and all that other good jazz and i'll see you guys soon because well technically i did say i was gonna make a new pokemon cafe mix video after this one right so yeah bye